Hi and welcome. My name is Chawa and today we're playing a game not for broadcast. Ooh, how uh graphics. Okay, okay, okay. Game. TV screens. Yep. Like this will be perfect. And which language? Oh, there's even Russian. Cool. Let's see, a uh, new game. Let's see how it will be. Ooh, day one, the election. Okay, what's this? What was that? Where? where? Turn right. Oh, really? Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. Okay. Hi, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're okay. not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, okay. look up at the top. That colored bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath okay. that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Okay. Now, the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Okay. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. I've left them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast screen that we're in the end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, yep. they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain... Oh, right, okay, they're over, so we haven't got long now till the broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Okay, uh, my salad weekly. Alan James. Hey. Okay. You should be getting a signal from the studio soon. With multiple award winning movies. When you get the signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Pour on a mayonnaise. Mm. You don't see if you make it go out with pasta. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. Time to kill. And yet you persist. Going five, four. Okay. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be the throw to the news titles on screen two. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flawed market. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hansley wins Sports Personality of the Year and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Blunderclatch about his new movie, The Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their historic... Right. Button That's two, all coming up on in tonight. three, National two, News. one, now. A bit late there, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. Brings down and vanishes, okay. Nation Nightly News. Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Now. Lovely mate. The votes are in and it's a decisive win for advance. The last 
We'll forget about the interference around this time of night, so keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white dot up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob or your scroll wheel. Of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. Okay. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to advances overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. Great, right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is oh. play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leader's acceptance. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back, everybody. I need you to fill out your ads. What? Why? Banker Snatch is running late. Oh. Okay. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. doesn't remember anything at all. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing great, okay. but this is where it starts getting a bit trickier. This next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. Okay. It's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long, ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the Whoa. audience wants to see who's doing the talking, yeah? Stick to these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Okay, and I have only coming back from the break? some seconds. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. For... Ten seconds, everybody. Getting in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners Later, advance. But first, I'm ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan, Megan Wolf, culture Thank correspondent. You, and today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment. Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> well, the Medicated. Yes. Well, oh. as I said to Peter well, at the rap, that's Peter, Peter Jason, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. He's a wonderful chap, he really is. Lovely, now back to Thunder Twat. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild you know what, ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie right is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Absolutely Was that a challenge right. at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story okay. of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. Been on that show a bit long. Over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. Although those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? 
That's how it doesn't it? Bleeding. Doesn't it? Giving. Bleeding. Suffering Giving. for one's audience. Suffering. Okay. I suppose in the end I do it for the difference it I makes. suppose in the end I do it I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people the little people. But most of all I think I do it for the positive change all, that I can I bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of okay. this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to okay. not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh, well, don't worry, he won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. ...medicated, which opens next week. I've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Watch out for that interference, mate. Oh, thank you. Doctor. I don't understand. God, looks like Blunder Clatch is losing it in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. You can go to the archive when the broadcast's done. We keep you think everything. I don't know that. You think I don't know that. No, Lance, we mustn't. Okay. Whoa. Good for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. We're going to change the world, you know? Don't to me. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. Okay. No, it's all too late. Look at this. Got it. Ooh. Sterility. This phone letter. This phone letter. This, this is the key. I pressed sensor. Sensor when I need it. Try another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count your in. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Okay. What am I supposed to do now? Right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the poor yeah. screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen. Yeah, yeah. Here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for Ooh. as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's yep. why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. As you turn it up, you'll hear the advert getting louder. You want a great chair? We had a man come down the other day, and he brought in his young. No, it's too much. You're set to start censoring. Like I was saying, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, two, and hold it down. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. One to four. Okay. Five, four, three... Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters. I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters. Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury 
are about to, to make their acceptance address. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Go for it, Pat. Go for it, Pat. Thank you all for coming. And well, thank you all for coming. Where do I start? Well, what a day! They said we couldn't do it. They said we couldn't do it. Every dirty lowdown lie in this southern bastard trick I had against you. But you, the people, you are right through there. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry, sorry about, about that. I've had a couple of celebrations. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebrations. Coarser than the grown is funny. Coarser than the grown is put. Perfect. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Okay. Throughout the campaign, you heard us say that advance are not a political party. Oh. That is what you have when things are going well. That is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. When the country is suffering, you need a team. A team that can change things. A team that can change But today is day one of a new future. But today is day one of a new, fairer future. A better, Okay. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's the over. They shouldn't for them, be the celebrating. Party's over. They, shouldn't they should be, be putting their shit in pants on and up in their dusty checkbook. Pants on and up in their dusty checkbook. Again, not inaccurate. But not Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. To pass the Working with the Wealth Office, we have reduced the definitiveness of every person in the country with wealth. Oh, you know this. Probably you. You rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing the sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore. No more hiding wealth. Okay, okay. Trust funds or creative accounting. Unavoidable stress. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. I've got nowhere to hide. We were revoked to your passport. We were revoked. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? First fine. First fine. You're going to pay first. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals from a nation of warring individuals to properly fund health and education to properly fund to raise the living standards of us to raise the living standards of us said we'd have to raise billions but you'll see when we reclaimed what's ours when we reclaimed what's that's absolute so to you posh twats the people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks and their private clubs the people whose children you the so they've got time to get even. So they've got time. Advance have this to say to you. Advance have this to say to you. Advance have this to say We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your big cars and your mansions and your big We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. In the hands of the people who created it. Today. Yes. It ends today. It and tomorrow today. we'll start making and it there again. We'll start making Just it like there we promised again. we would. Just and until like then, ladies and gents. And until then, ladies and gents. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Well, interesting acceptance speech well, there. Interesting well, acceptance speech and there. And our apologies for the well, fruity language. And our apologies for the fruity language. Oof. Oof. It's so intense. You need to see everything around. So, as the country braces itself. So, as the country That's all from us this evening at the National Mic That's all from us this evening. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day. With full coverage of the first day. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful... And we're out. Good job, everybody. Right. Looks like you've got it now. Thanks for the help, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's okay. about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. This is so weird to feel. Am I dying now? Okay. So lucky. So now it's uh, time for listening what they say. Broadcast complete. Continue. Wait, what? Replay? Once your nephew Cameron, he 
standing in the way of the truth. Now, Ellen James. Ooh. Okay, Dave's Apprentice. Final grade B? Ooh, yeah. Interference, dull editing. Sorry! Sequence 1 was good. Sequence 2, not so bad. But here is. Perfect sensor, perfect sensor. Why E? Because of. Uh, so, wait. I have a lot of ear, but uh, funds earned. Oh, that's interesting. So, Let's have a look. Okay, okay, it's still. Oh, it's a save file. Okay. In a few moments, we'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's the semi. Okay. Click on rushes and let's have a look at those. Rushes. Okay. These four screens, they're exactly the same as the four screens that feature the studio signal when you're doing the actual news. Of course, the difference here is you can mute any screen you like or any combination of screens, and you can have a listen to what was going on behind the scenes. Just select any segment, that's any bit between ad breaks oh. over on the left, and hit play. When you're done checking out the backstage secrets, hit back. Oh, so it's uh if I can want to change something in a game. In a broadcast that I made. Ooh, cool. Pour on a mayonnaise. Mm. You don't see if you make it go out in the pastures. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Moving on up. The election win that X was... Go up. Blunder clutch interview. These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I oh, know. I think they think he won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> it's not an... Absolute bogey. I don't care, Rob. I'm not... Ooh. And advance acceptance. I really don't pay attention what they say. All I did is uh, paying attention what I need to do, which screen I need to choose. How much time there is? Oh, really? But it's cool, I liked it. Hey, what? That's all of it? Crazy Neil Winter. Oh, it's uh. Welcome to Crazy yeah. Crazy okay, I think that's enough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, smash like if you did, leave your comments and subscribe. Um, yeah, that's a cool game. I think I tried to uh, give it another try, really. Uh, so we proceed to in the next video. So, bye!